Hello friends and neighbors. It's September 3rd, day 3 of VEDS, and it's 6.30 in the morning. Today I am going down to uh, southern Ohio near a town called Harveysburg to the Renaissance Festival. I have visited there pretty much every year uh, with my family. It's kind of become a yearly tradition and so we are going down there today. But it means I'm not going to get back into Bowling Green until very late this evening so I'm going to try something with this video that I haven't attempted since I was about in seventh grade, which is that I'm going to do all the editing on the camera. In other words, I'm going to try to film everything in one take so that I could just capture it all at once and then, and then upload it as it is. So this is going to be probably a little less polished video than you're used to on this channel, but hopefully it won't turn out too bad. Uh, I have been reading your comments on yesterday's video regarding Nerdfighteria being a Hufflepuff. Um, about half of you agree with me, half of you don't exactly, um, and several of you took the personality lab test, and a lot of you ended up in Hufflepuff, but a lot of you also ended up in Ravenclaw and Gryffindor, not so many in Slytherin. So, you know, maybe I'll rethink my statement by saying that if they took the personality lab test, and as you saw, there's point totals, they'd still get most with Hufflepuff, but it would probably just barely edge out Ravenclaw, and maybe Gryffindor would be, would be in there as well, with Slytherin maybe kind of sneaking in a little bit farther behind. But you don't want to listen to me blather on. Let's go to the Renaissance Festival. Howdy. Hey look, it transported me to a book 5204. <laughs> you thought it had turned me into book 5204, didn't you? Nope, I'm right here. Tell us what it was like to be kissed by a fire eater. Awesome. 
awesome. And I want one. I've worn one ever since I started coming to the Renaissance Festival, but they're like 80 bucks. <laughs> so here we are at the Renaissance Festival, just chilling for a little while. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's about it. That's about all I have to say. Let's see what else there is to see. Pachelbel's cannon? Yes. yes. All right. <clears throat> Sorry, it's such a long video today. There's just uh, there's just so much to see here at the Renaissance Festival. I kind of wish it was a little cooler, but still glad to be here. Incidentally, for those of you from Texas who are making fun of me for complaining about the heat yesterday, a couple of things for you to keep in mind. First of all, it's also extremely humid. And second of all, we in Ohio haven't really gotten used to it being in the upper 90s here. Uh, it usually doesn't get too far above the lower 90s. So, yeah, this is pretty hot for us. Someone's a long way from home. And we are. Good day to these gentlemen, and welcome to this gentleman's house. I am Sir Henry Fitzsimmons, the 12th Earl of Arundel. Yes, I did say, from yes, Warwickshire's own James Jackson. Who have we, Sir Robert? <laughs> We went out to get some water and ice from the car, and now we're feeling much better. So, it's been interesting reading all of your comments about the, the Hogwarts houses that you, uh, that you belong to or that you think you belong to. One person pointed out that oftentimes that we do self-sortings where we pick the house that we, for the values that we, that we value the most, for the virtues that we value the most. Um, and so if we believe ourselves to be a very intelligent person, we might put ourselves in Ravenclaw. But the fact is that our actual virtues might be something that we're not even aware of, which is where the impartial sorting hat comes in. It's worth pointing out also that the sorting hat, um, even though it says it's infallible, is probably not infallible. And in fact, they point that out in Pottermore. The sorting hat may not be quite as infallible, infallible as it believes that it is. Anyway, back to the Renaissance Festival. And what trip would be complete without a trip to a bookshop? And here we have Infernal Device in your pants, Medieval Punishment in your pants, and Violence, and Daily Life in your pants. Well, there's the Renaissance Festival. It's time to go home. Well, actually, more accurately, it's time to go to Arby's because that's the tradition. But then after Arby's, we're going home.